You're here because your renders take too much time. You just have this thing that this could take much less time. And you know what? You're right. In today's video, I packed over 10 tips on how to speed up your renders in Blender Cycles. It's Yaku from the 3D Product Animation Accelerator. Let's get started. If you're not doing close-ups with 120mm focal length or even higher, then why do you need such a huge image texture? For objects that are further away from the camera, image textures like 2K are fine. Sometimes you can go even lower to something like 1K. In most cases, 4K is more than enough. If you're in the situation where you can have the same resolution over the whole scene, you can just go to the Simplify tab and change the texture limit to the resolution that works for you. Is Noise Threshold. If you set your noise threshold to the highest value, which is 1, you can even leave max samples as default. The idea is that once the threshold is reached, Blender will stop sampling for that pixel. If you want to lower your time spent on the rendering, just make the noise threshold higher and max samples lower. It's up to you what settings will work the best for you, so you just have to experiment with that. It's worth noting that in bright scenes, you can go really high with noise threshold, but in darker scenes, you might have too much noise, so you know, try your stuff. Tip related to the previous one is that when you go low with your samples and high with the noise threshold and you are missing so many details, then just instead of increasing the max samples, just increase the resolution. Turn on the Fast Global Illumination or GUI approximation. This setting will reduce the amount of light bounces. Basically, after the set number of bounces, Blender will use approximate global illumination. With default setting, this will make your scene darker, but you can play with viewport and render bounces to achieve the look you need. Change your device to GPU compute and if you have this grayed out, go to Edit, Preferences, System and in Cycles Render Device, choose your GPU. For RTX cards, choose Optics and for Apple computers, choose Metal. Select only your GPU here, don't select both CPU and GPU because it will hurt your performance significantly. When you're dealing with displacement maps, use Adaptive Subdivision. It changes the subdivision levels based on the distance from the camera. Areas near the camera will have higher subdivision levels compared to those further from the camera. That way you'll have more details where you really need them and less details where you don't really need them, which means that you will save some time. To enable it, you have to change the feature set from supported to experimental and then in the modifiers panel select adaptive subdivision. In light paths, change values based on your scene. In most cases, default settings make Blender calculate too much unnecessary data, which leads to longer render time. For example, if you're rendering a glass object, you need to crank up the glossy path to something like 8 or even 12 to get the correct rendering. But when you're rendering something like a wood, you don't really need 12 paths in transmission. Just look at what you have in your scene and adjust these settings accordingly. Also, if you don't have any caustics, just disable these. Whenever you want to render your image or your animation, go to the solid mode instead of render preview. When you're previewing your renders, use Ctrl B to crop render region to camera or go to camera settings and in viewport display change passport out to 1. Also if you want to preview a small portion of the screen you can just use Ctrl B and select just a small rectangle. Always use the newest version of Blender. Each new version of Blender comes with updates to cycles that reduce the render time and it's especially important if you are using AMD graphics cards or Apple computer. Since devs are constantly improving support for HIP and Metal. Open Image Denoiser produces much more accurate results, while Optics is generally faster but can produce some artifacts. In the view layer, select Z and Vector. In the Compositing tab, click Use Nodes, add Vector Blur, plug Image to Image, Depth to Z and Vector to Speed. Hit Render and based on your preferences, adjust it to your liking. 
Wherever you have many objects that are pretty dense, you can just add a decimate modifier and lower the ratio value until you start losing too many details. If you have many objects in the scene that are the same, like for example here, instead of me duplicating all objects using Shift D, I would use Alt or Option plus D. That way Blender doesn't have to calculate each single geometry or mesh individually. It's especially very helpful when you have a huge scene with many objects and you get errors like system is out of GPU memory. And that's it. Now because you saved some time on your renders, you can watch our free 3D training. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.